Chapter 358 Sensing the unusual silence and intensity, Sean asked, Doctor, how is it? The doctor shook his head helplessly and answered, Mr. Richard, I'm afraid that we can't fix your problem. Based on our test and results, it shows that you suffer a disorder that we call penile necrosis, which means the nerves around your penis have suffered irreversible damage. I'm so sorry. Could it be that your hospital is not good enough? Harold father asked. The doctor squinted at him in annoyance and said, with the current medicine and technology, we can cure the damaged nerves and let it slowly recover. But we can't do anything about the necrotic nerves. It's like encountering a car accident. Some people can recover slowly, but some will never stand again. Then, he turned his glance back toward Sean and said in a solemn tone, In your case, no one in the world can do anything about it. It can't be cured. What? Arg! How can this be? Sean's face was as pale as a sheet of paper. He blurted in despair, I have money. Ten million. Is it enough? Can you cure my manhood with ten million dollars? Again, the doctor said seriously, nerves are like human life. Even if you're dying, there's still a chance to save you, but if you're dead, you're dead. No one can bring the dead back to life. Then, he continued, ten million, you say? You can't bring the dead to life even if you have all the money in the world. Look at Steve Jobs. He was a very rich man, wasn't he? Still, he died from pancreatic cancer when he was in his fifties. Sean's heart skipped a beat. He was in a daze as if he had been struck by lightning. Was that it? Did the doctor mean to say that he would be impotent for the rest of his life? After all those years of hard work, he had made so much money so that he could enjoy his lavish and free life after his retirement. If his manhood forever malfunctioned, what else was there for him to stay alive? As the thought ran through his mind, the renowned business tycoon, Sean Richard, covered his face and wept loudly, tears streaming down his face. Harold Father, who was watching the scene, felt hot flashes in his eyes and almost burst into tears as well. As a man, he could understand Sean's pain very much. At the same time, he clutched his legs tightly and thought to himself that he would protect his manhood no matter what it took. A man was not a man when his little brother was useless. Just then, the doctor suddenly said, By the way, Mr. Richard, honestly speaking, I think that there may be someone who can cure your disorder. What? Really, Sean shrieked excitedly. He grabbed the doctor's hands and said in a stuttering voice, Who? Who is it? Tell me. The doctor donned a mysterious smile. He does not work in our hospital. Then how do you know that he can cure nerve necrosis? Didn't you just say that it is irreversible? Yes, indeed, but only he can cure it. He cured a patient who was paralyzed from the neck down. I saw it with my own eyes. I bet your case is a piece of cake for him since you're only paralyzed locally. Sean couldn't hide his excitement any longer. He blurted out, Who is he? Where is he? Tell me now. The doctor smiled. Mr. Richard, I can introduce him to you, but don't you think a referral fee should be in place? Sean immediately took out his checkbook and swiftly wrote a check for $100,000 to the doctor, saying, I'll give you another 900000 if the man you introduced can really cure me. The doctor took the check from Sean and looked at it with starry eyes. Then, he said, there is a genius doctor in Oroes Hill, Dr. Billy. He cured a quadriplegic patient in our hospital a few days ago, which was a miracle in our neurology field. He has a clinic in the city, Serene World Clinic. If you see him, maybe he can cure you. Sean was stunned for a moment and asked joyfully, Dr. Billy, could you be referring to Paisal Billy by any chance?